So, how do we take care of a soldering iron? Or more specifically, the tip on the soldering iron, because the tip is very important. Now, if you have a brand new tip, then you need to know how to tin it, which is what we shall learn today. So yes, this is a beginner electrical engineer here today, teaching you about soldering irons. And as you can see, I have put a new tip on in comparison to the old tip. This one is much sil more silvery and well, much more irony, I suppose. It's got an iron coating on top of it. And that one is from my last failed attempt because I had to re-record this video because I accidentally did the entire process wrong. So, a neat little trick is to grab your solder, cut off a decent length of it, and wrap it around the tip of your soldering iron. Okay, so it's still a little warm, but it shouldn't be enough to burn me. And yes, literally just do wraps around the tip. That's because you want to heat up your soldering iron but and coat it with your tin or with your solder before the tip starts oxidizing. Because if it starts oxidizing then you've ruined your needle or your soldering iron tip and you have to start again with a new tip just like I'm doing right now. So just keep wrapping the solder all the way down, right the way to the tip, or the tip tip, the top of the tip of the soldering iron, top of the tippity tim tims, shaboo. And there we go, we're almost there. And right at the end. Okay, and it broke off, which is nice and convenient. And get yourself some more solder ready. Because we're going to plug in our iron again. And screw on the plug so it doesn't come out accidentally. When we turn this iron on, we're going to put it onto the fullest the highest temperature that this soldering, soldering iron can do. In this case with mine it's 450 degrees Celsius, which would be more than enough to mount the solder on the tip. So ready and turn the soldering iron on, turn the temperature all the way up to the maximum and keep your eye on the soldering iron. And as soon as it starts melting on the tip, start applying solder. That's all about timing, because if you mess it up, you're going to end up oxidizing the tip and it's going to start being useless. As you can see, some smoke's starting to come off it. That's the flux evaporating. And we're at 400 degrees. And our soldering iron is tinned. That's a nice and easy way to do it. I mean, it does use a lot of solder. And then just clean the tip off and add some more solder. There we go. Our soldering iron is tinned. Now, this isn't a tip I'd normally use. I'd normally use a wedge one, but I'm... I don't have any wedge ones on me right now, so we're going to have to use a pointy one for a while. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very quick video about tinning the tip of your soldering iron. Now, just some more advice here. To keep your tip in good condition, always make sure that when you turn it off, it has a little bit of solder. Also, don't use it to cut foams or plastics like I've seen with other videos. If you really want to use a soldering iron, then buy a very cheap one for that purpose. Because if you try and melt plastics and foams, you will end up damaging the heating element, which will cause 
it to break and it will no longer work as a very good soldering iron. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learnt everything that you wanted to coming here. If you have a suggestion for any future videos or improvements, then leave them in the comments section right down below. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.